Hello and welcome to another exciting episode of Rodney Hash. Today we're going to be going over something extra special with you guys. We got that certified kind Galenus Orange Velvet Underground. Alright, I'm going to let you guys take a real quick look at this. I'm a little excited for this as some of you may or may not know. Galenus grows in organic living soil. That is actually how they get the kinds or sorry certified kind certification uh i kind of hope that they get a little bit clearer packaging i heard that's on the way uh one thing i will say about them is i do like how they do have their uh, cbd cbda cbga and other cannabinoids uh, aside from uh just the standard total thc cbd and also the terp profile on here which again i'll put right over here yeah all right guys let's get right into this as always we're gonna tow over the and grade the smell look taste and the effects all right guys let's get right into this I mean, I wasted, wasted. shout out to my cultivation cultivation we gave the world another we train this is my appreciation let's take a break it's time to smoke one let's take a break it's time to smoke one we smoke one we gave the world and I would like to throw out a real quick disclaimer out there that I do not like suggest anyone go medicate and drive. Yes, I am in my little hash mobile. Uh, this is my smoking spot, toking spot, whatever you want to call it, vaporizing spot. Uh, this is where I come to do my medicine because I cannot use it in my house. So this is what it is. Nothing illegal going on. We're all patients. Let's get to the review. So. As always, I'm going to open it right here on screen, so that way that first real big whiff you guys can see. All right. Mm, kind of has like a little bit of a hay smell. Mm. Kind of like a garlicky tone. Didn't really hit me with as much uh, orange as I expected. Someone had recommended throwing it into a, uh, uh, what do you call it? A, um, into a jar with a Boost Packs or a Bovita Packs, Bovita Packs. Um, maybe I'll try this. Follow me on Instagram and I'll let you guys know how it goes as far as smell goes. In the next couple of days, if I cure it a little bit longer and throw the Boveda pack in there, we'll see how it goes. Um, but as of as I open the package, I'm not super happy about the smell. Like I said, it's kind of got a, like a hay smell. It's not really what I was expecting. Maybe it's just the, the osamine in it or humulene. It's not like a bad smell. But it definitely has that like uh that hay ammonia chlorophyll smell. Um as far as a grade goes on smell, I'm gonna have to go with you know, kind of a A plus. It still has a smell, it still has an aroma. But I'm definitely not looking for a hay smell. So let's get straight into that uh grading it on the look, which just based off this, it already kind of looks a little bit better than the smells, and we all know look, taste, and smell is kind of what we really grade it on, but the effect is what really, really matters as a patient. So let's get straight into the uh, look, guys. So right off the bat, at first glance, it definitely kind of looks like it has a lot of frostiness to it, and I like that a lot. Um... Definitely kind of looks like it's been sent through an auto trimmer, which I'm not a fan of. I definitely prefer things to be hand trimmed. Uh, however, it does look like maybe they even went through and kind of took all the little crow's feet off and everything else afterwards. Or maybe just uh, someone was kind of rushing as they were trimming and just when they trimmed, they... Uh, let me see if I can get this looking right up here. They just pressed the blades of the scissors real tight up against here and just kind of went the whole way uh, but it definitely kind of looks like it was trimmed a little hard again guys you're just looking to get just the sugar leaves off of there uh, 
just so that way it's not adding extra weight you want as much trichome content specifically the the resin heads on here and when you send it through an auto trimmer a lot of the time what happens is uh these little resin heads here you can kind of see some of them let me see if i can't zoom in real nice here yeah you can see on some of them where there's like a stalk actually if you google a picture of it it'd be much better than my phone camera but all those little lines coming off of there are all resin stalks. You can't really see the balls of the heads on them on mine. But what happens is you uh, send them through an auto trimmer and it'll knock a lot of those off. It just doesn't look as nice and it's not as good a medicine. But uh, yeah, so far I think as far as a grade goes, it's really frosty. Uh, it's got a lot of pistols. Again, throw, going through the auto trimmer, it kind of looks like it knocked some of those pistols off. It looks like there could have been more. Uh, I think on a letter grade scale for look, I'm going to go with a C+. Plus. The plus specifically for the fact of I feel like if this was hand trimmed, this would be a lot nicer. I feel like those trichome heads would really be standing out a little bit more, and those pistols would probably be, it'd just be a little bit hairier. And again, this is kind of one of those telltale signs that it's uh, been sent through an auto trimmer, is because when you see these real small buds, and they still got the little bits of fan leaves on them. Yeah, that happens. It is what it is. But here we are so next thing we'll be looking at as always is the taste and the effects what i am super excited for guys all right guys so one thing i would kind of like to note here as far as smell goes uh if you guys ever had flintstones vitamins the orange one in specific as you, as i'm breaking this down that's Kind of the notes I'm getting is like that, uh, that like kind of chalky orange smell. So let's crank this bad boy all the way up to 400 and let's see how it goes. Obviously, I'm going to be hitting it a little bit along the way just so that way I can get those terps that are hitting that boiling point as they're coming for that first real good initial hit. Okay, I can taste that oranginess right away. Yeah. A little bit of a grassy aftertaste. But not like an undercured weed grassy aftertaste, just more like that. I can kind of taste the orange chalky, yeah, a little bit. Kind of like a grassy orangey yeah i'd go with like a grassy orangey almost like a chalky grassy orangey it's not bad it's not great it's not great pad but it's also not um it's not the worst thing either Kind of lingering on my tongue a little bit. That lingeringness is uh, kind of like that chalkiness. I'm not gonna lie, I kind of expected. <coughs> uh, I'm sorry, everybody. I was definitely expecting a little bit more out of this. Uh, the turp profile shows that it's close to about, uh, it's under 2% terps, which for organic living soil isn't too bad, but it's also not quite where I wanted it to be. There's definitely a lot of beta mercine in here, 
which would kind of make sense because I do kind of feel a little bit more uh, like couch locky, which is what Mercy is really, really good for is getting you that real good couch lock. Like, uh, you know, you ever seen that girl from the drug free commercial where she's just kind of like laying flat? That's because she had too much Mercy. I think as far as the taste grade goes, I'm probably going to go somewhere along the lines of probably a C plus, B minus range. It's nothing really to cry to write home about, but it's also not something to sleep on. I can definitely say where the sour tangy is coming from, from the genetic line, because it's kind of got a little bit there. I think that's kind of almost like that chalky thing that I'm thinking of. It's almost like uh, tangy, but real subtle. Uh, I mean, really, a lot of the taste is real subtle. So it's kind of, again, I guess I got to go with that C+. Plus. Um, as far as effects go, I might have to come back to this in a little bit. But uh, so far, definitely feeling a lot more couch locky than anything. I'm feeling relaxed. Um, my whole spinal column just kind of got like a, feels like it's got like a highlight glow to it, if that makes any sense. It's not in pain anymore. It's, it's a good feeling. Um, for such a quick time, it's definitely kind of where I want it to be. If you guys want an understanding of Terps are, and maybe just the fundamentalist idea of where they come from, what they do, definitely let me know in the comments below. Again, leave a like, comment, subscribe. But more importantly, I want to know what your guys' thoughts on Terps are. Do you guys know enough about them? Do you want to know more? How basic of an understanding do you have of them? Because that's uh, definitely what I'm here for, is I want to help you guys understand and inform you guys. Um, effects grade goes... I'm going to go with a B so far just because of the fact that, again, like, I definitely feel relaxed. I don't feel overwhelmed by anything. Um, I kind of got, like, that uh, right around my eyes here. I kind of feel like it's kind of like a, it's not quite a headband effect, but it's just kind of right around my eyes. Uh, I'm sure some of you guys can understand what that's like. Um, yeah. Yeah. I think I like it though. As far as effects, I'm going to go with the B. I hope you guys like the video, guys. Uh, shout out again to Galenus, uh being very vocal about the fact that you are supportive of Home Grow, which I do know that Sensible Ohio has been working on a build and has been working with the state and the legislature to try and get us a little bit better program, not only uh, get decrim throughout multiple studies. And to uh, get home grow to all of you guys, because I know that's what we all want. We all want to be able to safely grow our own stuff at home, uh, to be able to test it, to be able to just be free. Be free, guys. All right. I hope you guys liked the video. Again, like, comment, subscribe. I'll see you guys next time on Rodney Hash.